What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of the Just Saying Podcast. I'm your host, Justin Martindale. And this week's guest I'm so excited to have for you. He is a comedy store favorite. He is one of the busiest guys on the Sunset Strip <laughs> these days. Literally, you have shows all over town. Uh, he is newly engaged as well to a former Just Saying podcast episode, Miss Kelly Ryan, oh. who is here. It is Bruce Gray, everyone. Hey, everybody, Bruce. thanks. So good to be here. Yes. Oh, yeah, I forgot, we're just we're just two young, engaged, Eng engaged, engaged gentlemen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. How are, how are things in the engagement world for you? Uh, pretty sweet. Pretty much as soon as we got engaged, uh, Kelly went to Europe for five weeks. Oh, right. Because she's on tour. Yeah. But she's back in like another week. So it's been pretty, uh, it's been mostly being bachelor stuff. I see how badly adjusted I would be if we she weren't to Oh, my yeah. God. For like the first two weeks, I'm like, here I am. Do this, do that. My schedule, I'm free. My schedule, everything's great. I'm like, wow, there's so much time in the day. This is perfect. And then the <laughs> last week, I've just been like an animal. I'm like, this is, I got to figure something oh, out. She, are you cleaning? Are you, are you I'm, a, I'm much clean. Like, I clean constantly. Deep with clean. The, yeah. Rugs, dishes. Yeah. See, so I do that. I did the, well, first because they had another four week run mm -hmm. a few months ago and like the second day I was scrubbing the baseboards in the kitchen as you should and we live with Allie her twin sister mm -hmm. and she came home and it's just me on the floor and I, my hair is all messed up and I like turn around and she goes are you okay and I was like <laughs> yeah I'm good this is what I want to do I wanted to clean the floor I she's love like, hobbies okay. she's like I, you seem like you're kind of spiraling and I was like no I just wanted to get clean are you getting and not only because it's October are you getting a little of like the shining like cabin fever like you're just like i gotta clean all work and no play makes kelly a yes <laughs> <laughs> makes kelly come home sooner <laughs> yeah like you just see ally and kelly in the like twin yeah. outfits at the end of the hallway <laughs> i do i don't know it feels like it's such a weird groundhog day thing whenever it's like just you and you're cleaning like the same thing mm -hmm. over and over and you're like i did that i thought mm -hmm. already and it's just it's a nightmare is this the longest you've gone yeah apart uh, I mean, we did four weeks, like two months ago, four and a half weeks, and this is five weeks. I know. And she is, like, living it up. Kelly is on tour right now with Anthony Jeselnik. Oh, yeah. She's doing, like, she's gone everywhere. Yeah. Like, she is 25 cities Diego. in Europe right now. Yeah. Did the Sydney Opera House. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a weird vacation. We were talking about it, where it's like, you're going to... 25, 30 cities in Europe, but you're there for like a day yeah. and a half, two days, some places. So it's like, you can't really go do touristy stuff, but it's like, you can go to the bar down the street and talk to an old man. Kind of like, that's I mean, like, that's that like, you, can, yeah, I was gonna yeah. say, you could like exist. And Eating then, it out of a bread bowl. Yeah, go yeah. to an Irish bar and, and be like, it's not what it used to be. And you're like, <laughs> all right, well, we're on to Switzerland. <laughs> and we're out. Yeah. Um, at least now she has some honeymoon ideas, right? Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, Have you I, guys set a date or no? No, I'm. What is it? This is actually. I'd actually like to talk to you about. This. Yeah, go for it. Immediately, people are like, "When is it?" Exactly. When is it? Oh, every like it happened like the day after. Yeah, and it's like I don't know. We both were just like, let's just say two years. Oh, two years, and then be like, I don't. I don't What's know. What's the rush? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of because it's also a nice time to just enjoy, mm -hmm. but it's also. I mean, that. Because she was home for a month, and I think we got engaged like halfway through that. So that next two weeks, it's like, especially you come here or you go anywhere, or it's like the first time you've seen this group of people or that group of people, everybody's like, celebrate! So it's like that yeah. two weeks was just like an, a whirlwind where I was like, I don't, I can't take shots every five seconds. Like, See, I, we're in that phase right now. It's fun, but it, it's like, ugh. oh my God. Yeah, because you're just like, okay, we want to do this. We're going to take you guys out. We're going to do this. Even yesterday, okay, so yesterday... um, my friends and I, we went to um, the Heritage Museum, which is like, I've never been. It's like these old Victorian it's the homes. Heritage Not Hate Museum. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yes. And it was a lovely brisk yeah. fall day of like 98 degrees. Everyone's in all black dressed like witches during the day. It was like kind of like a flea market yeah. for like, you know, nerds. Yeah. And... Um, these beautiful Victorian homes that have been like relocated and put in this little strip. Ah. So you feel like you're in this like village. Yes. And um, then afterwards, we did that. We went to uh, Michelli's, I believe, on Cahuenga. It's like an Italian restaurant, but it looks like an Italian set. It's been there since like for 75 years. It's yeah. great. Highly recommend. That and the old waiter. 
What's that? All the waiters are like old guys. Who no, but like, they sing. Oh. So yeah, th- like your waiter will like drop off your pasta and be like, ah, oh, people, that's your eye. And you're like, oh, this is kind of weird. Like, actually, we're fun. fighting right now. We're actually in an argument. If yeah. you can give us a second. After a couple <laughs> bottles of Chianti, you're like, yes, you stupid bitch, sing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, it was just so funny because like after our meal, our friend was like, uh, the waitress was like, uh, would you guys want dessert? And our friend is like, yes, they just got engaged. Yes. And I'm like, shit. Yeah. And all of a sudden, this like guy walks by and I go, oh, look look at fucking young Sheldon over there because his like outfit, he was like kind of dorky or whatever. And he was like preppy at the same time. And so everyone comes out and they're singing to us. They're like, congratulations, is, and dear. I, yeah. Uh, and, and I'm like, Justin and Evan, they're like, congratulations. <laughs> they don't even like say our yeah. names. And... The guy over there turns around. He's like, "Congratulations!" And I'm like, "Holy shit! That is young Sheldon. <laughs> young Sheldon congratulated us." Wow. I was like, "I think that's good." I was like, "This little shit's richer than all of us." Yeah, Jesus Christ! Well, we have to celebrate uh, our engagement and <laughs> not to each other. Yeah, I was just saying. We may as well. Let's you know. Let's just do this now. This is a trend that popped up. Dua Lipa, who I love. She uh, she's been here a few times. To the oh, and store. every time I've missed it. I, if there was someone I'd fangirl over, it would be doing. She I do like her music a lot. She was in the crowd, and uh, I was on stage and got off, and someone was like, "Oh, Dua Lipa was here." She was laughing, and I was like, "Oh, that's cool." And then I told Kelly, I was like, "Oh, Dua Lipa was in the crowd. She was laughing during my set," and uh, she said, "I'll beat her ass." So uh, that's, that's Kelly would Dua Lipa. Beat Dua watch Lipa. out! Don't yeah. get it. Don't come near me. I can't yeah. handle this. So she started this trend. I brought a urine sample from home. <laughs> that's, um, what, that's the pickle juice. I I didn't hydrate yesterday while I was walking around in uh, Pasadena, but no, it's pickle juice. Whoa! So yeah, so she's doing this thing with diet coke, pickle juice, and jalapeno juice. But I don't have jalapeno yeah, juice. We have the habanero bitters that we. Yeah, st- we're gonna do comedy yeah. store. Yeah, we're we like, stole from the world famous Ciro's Cafe. Yeah, who has habanero bitters? So we're gonna try this out. Now I have to be honest with you, I can't stand Diet Coke. Really? I. Ugh. That's man. That's part I'm of so, your culture. I'm doing. I, <laughs> Diet Coke is huge in gay culture. It might be the number one beverage. Is it? I think so. Is Diet? It's, I think it's second to iced coffee. If I had to, if it was, if I was on, uh, what's not Price is Right? What's Family Feud? And they were like, yeah. what top five drinks for gay gentlemen? Let's go. Oh. And I'd be like Diet Coke, and it would oh. be, I would go Diet Coke first. Oh, I, I would say cold brew first. Oh, yeah. see, that might be too. I inside. didn't know Diet Coke was brat. <laughs> Who knew? So I'm just going to add a couple. Oh, God, that's probably way too much. So she's, why is she doing this? Because it's Dua and she can do it. Yeah, <laughs> do the Dua. Uh, so we'll try this. I'm going to give it a stir. Give it a stir. Okay. Hey, All cheers. Right. cheers. Hey, cheers to our engagement. Cheers for engagement. <laughs> Let's have this I mean, Dua Lipa drink. I just am very intrigued. Let's see. You know what it tastes like? Tell me. The fair. The Ren Fair? No, like the fair, like the county fair. Like if oh. like if you're drinking out of the trash at the county fair. <laughs> like <laughs> it's just it's what the county fair smells like with weird pickles and jalapeno what it bitters. I just don't I'm not gonna lie. It's like not as bad as I thought no. it would be. And it also kind of cuts the Diet Coke. I'm like, shocked. At- diabetic taste. I don't love pickles, and uh, I don't mind this. I think this would be a fun thing to drink. If this was like a shooter, like a shot, they were like, whoa, it's Ooh. the Dua Lipa, and this had like some kind of booze in it. Do the Dua Lipa. Like, oh, fun. That's yeah. a fun shot. But- I took the worst shot over the weekend. It was like, it was called a Mexican, it was like a Mexican candy? something. Mexican candy. Wait, do you know Mexican candy? Yeah. yeah. From I'm- where? The shot? Yeah, yeah. It's actually All a over, thing. yeah. Um, okay. I'm trying to think, our friend, a friend of ours works at Barney's, and she does. That's where I did it. It was trash. Was it with a Russian bartender? Maybe a large of uh, of large woman, Victoria. No, I would have Staunched. known a large Russian yeah. woman. That's no. very funny. That it was at Barney's. It was she at always Barney's. Yeah. It was disgusting. Yeah. Sorry, Barney's. I this love This is you. Uh, really lingering. This heat here. Well, it's habanero bitters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's not bad though. I don't hate it, but I don't know how. Uh, it's carnival. Do you know what it's I'm saying? Giving it, carnival, it, yeah. It, like that's immediately I was like thrown into the Kern County. Well, because Fair. well, because in carnivals they always mix things that should be put you in jail. Yeah. You know, like 
cotton candy turkey legs and and deep fried Oreos yeah. and sounds like you're singing we didn't start the fire. <laughs> cotton candy Oreos. Baby <laughs> oil and GHB. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I mean, okay, I'll give it. I'll give it like out of ten. I'd don't say despise it. Yeah, like a what? A, a seven? I would say seven at the most. I'd I don't know. Seven. I don't see. It's not like. Sustainable to drink an entire glass of this. No, 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 no. But people, I'm sure people would try and, a shot. Well, and I deep dived into the TikTok of it all. And people were like going to restaurants, being like, "Can I get a Dr Pepper with pickles?" And I'm like, "Oh, but that's no. also some white." That's what I'm saying. At a fair, they would be like, "It's Dr Pe in Texas." They'd be like, "It's Dr Pepper with a pickle straw and mm -hmm. jalapeno." It's like it's almost like a Bloody Mary. No, how dare you? Do not. Well, you're a big Bloody Mary. Yes. All right. So. Anytime. Okay. Except when they add like a hamburger and a pizza slice and a chicken wing. Yeah, I'm like, stop. You don't want lunch on top no, of No, I don't need that. But give me a good... Yeah. But no, that shot, that that Mexican uh, candy. candy. Yeah. What's also... I don't like... Kelly loves like the spicy alcohol, spicy margaritas mm -hmm. and like that. I just don't... Like a papar. I just... Anytime... <laughs> I, I feel like you're drinking to get away from spicy. Oh. If something is spicy, you're drinking on the side to be like, let's get that out of here and let's get something better, like that kind of thing. But also, I feel like if you're going to do a spicy cocktail, two minimum. I mean, yeah. two maximum. Yeah, two minutes. Two maximum. I, gotta, oh. I, I need to throw some fire. If you down keep here. going and that stuff comes up, I was again, literally my. I didn't want to ruin the mood, but I was going to say, imagine you end up doing that. Imagine no. you know you're vomiting. Oh god, I've done it. I'm afraid of also touching my eyes. Yes, that's where you get into them. That's where you get into big trouble. Oh, absolutely. Well, I'm glad. Thank you for being brave enough. We don't have to drink these the whole time, but um, let's get into some stories, shall we? We're both in very successful engagements, relationships. And we got advice from one of Hollywood's golden couples, and I'm talking about Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell, who have been together for 85 years. <laughs> um, it's a world record. And, you know, I feel like they've been together for so long, they're not officially married. They've just been, like, together. Yeah. You know, and good for them. I love them. Um, they've remained for so long, and... I feel like when you're in Hollywood, especially like when you're in a very successful relationship, the first question you always get is like, how are you doing it? Yeah, why? Because it, it's... Why haven't you failed yet? Yeah, it's kind of the same thing as like being in a comedy thing where everybody's like, it's not going to work. There's so oh. much whatever. But it's like, yeah, it's, if they're, you're them, the entire world is available to you. Yes. And it has... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, it has been for so long. So it is extra crazy. It is working. And actually, they have been together for 40 years. And she says there's one key element to building a successful long-term relationship. And Goldie just flat out said, you have to have good sex. Uh, so she told her... Uh, the reporter from E! News at the Love in Gala in celebration of the 20th anniversary of the Goldie Hawn Foundation and Mind Up. Because sex is something that connects you and creates more belonging. People who have a healthy sexual relationship usually last a lot longer, but it's not just because of the act, it's because of the warmth and the intimacy that it creates. But she also joked, you have to be nice to each other upon occasion. Okay, well, there's that. It's also it's almost like you don't want to hear that from her. Like what? it's almost like it's almost like a, a sex ed teacher being like that's her vibe now in her golden years or whatever you want to call her it. Golden years. Golden yes, years, yes. yes. But the vibe is like a very like an older if, if you saw them across the bar and you were like, "Oh man, what's your guys' secret?" You'd be like you're just trying to be nice and you're just like, "You got to fuck." They're like, "We're you looking gotta, for a yeah, third. Yeah, We're like, looking for a third. It's a little third. bit intense. Like yeah. you got to you got to get yeah. in there and you good you don't stop. We <laughs> But look at this. If <laughs> Okay, <laughs> you mean to tell me... Oh, God, he's choking on habanero <laughs> bitters. Just, I'm hitting the habanero. Wait, touch your eyes, touch your eyes. Oh, my God, okay. <laughs> I feel like... I, I, I. Okay, so say if you were across the bar and Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell were looking at you and they were like... <laughs> and I'm alone? And you're alone. And they were like, we will pay you... Like, let's say, like... Fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> it was like I don't know, sixty-five bucks. <laughs> uh, sixty-five. I'm in. They're like, look at us. We have. We're in love. Uh, we have a tomato garden out back. You're saying in this situation, they're like, and just in case you don't know, we are Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. Yeah, <laughs> and we want to fuck. Oh, yeah, and it would be really hard, depending on. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It would be hard. I'd have to call. I don't think I would do it in secret because it would be something that you couldn't keep to yourself. You mm -hmm. have to be like, you guys are not going to believe who I fucked the other night. <laughs> Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. At the like, Pendry Cross. Yeah. Okay. 
with curtains open at the Pendry, yeah, in front overlooking of the, bang, the swamp. I'm knocking on the door so everybody can see. Be like, it's me, it's Bruce. Oh. I'm, I'm fucking Goldie Hawn. Yeah, and we're like, because oh. <laughs> yeah. that is the thing. I don't think that's ever been talked about on that on this podcast. When the Pendry opened across the way, yes, people. It was like right around COVID lifting or whatever. Yeah. There were like content creators and like OnlyFans people renting out these rooms and putting up ring lights and like going to town in the window. In the window. And it was whenever I was a door guy here yeah. still. And you would call it on the radio. Mm -hmm. it would like the radio is supposed to be like, hey, we got a person out front looking for tickets. Mm -hmm. Hey, we need security here. And then people would be like, hey, everybody get out to the front now, now, now. Like everybody yeah. would like <laughs> literally. It would Seriously. Be, the rooms would empty of employees and all, every employee of the comedy store, the show would just be running itself and then yeah. everybody would be in front being like, let's yeah. go. You would be in the original room and you'd like look out the side window and you'd see everyone just being like, <laughs> looking up. Yeah. and then you'd be like, I'll be right back. You'd leave your set <laughs> and then you're outside. I remember like one point I was critiquing. I was like, good angles. Um, oh yeah, she's giving us a thumbs up. Everything looks okay. <laughs> yeah, it's back to you, folks. Bruce. Yeah. I think that they must have like sent out some kind of thing when you check in that's like, hey, just don't do it. Because they stopped doing it. They did they stop doing it. Do I it think they anymore. I think they might get like fined or something if it if it gets back to them. But it's also it's like it's such a maze to put together. Because if you're standing in the front of that hotel or any hotel and mm -hmm. there's in the window, you can't be like, okay, it's this many up, this many over. <laughs> like you're doing literally like a math <laughs> equation to figure out what room they're Down fucking the in. Hall. Yeah. But also there's that narc who's just like, one, two, three, yes, four, yeah. one, two. I'm going to run across the street. <laughs> yeah. There's Somebody an doing activity in the window. Like autistic math and they're oh. like showing a grid. They're like, yeah. here's where they are in the grid. <laughs> but what a time. But I would, um, I would definitely, the issue with, being a part of the Goldie Hawn Kurt Russell threesome mm -hmm. is that I wouldn't be able to keep it to myself. Yeah, and I would tell it. I I could never be somebody who's like trusted with big secrets like that in Hollywood because I couldn't wait to tell everybody. I legit would run across the street here and be like, "Dude, Justin, yeah, I just <laughs> fucked Goldie Hawn," and I'm like, "What?" <laughs> and you're like, "How much?" I was like, sixty five dollars. Wow, <laughs> what a bargain! <laughs> yeah, it might have been sixty five thousand, but I I cut them off when they said sixty five, and I was like, "I'm in." Oh, uh, <laughs> they do look like swingers. Though. I would, if, if you know, I feel like there's like lots of terms in in sex, like you know, Eiffel Towers and the what's another like reverse cowgirl. Yeah. I feel like if you hooked up with Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn at the same time, we'd call it the Goldie Corral. The Goldie Corral. Yeah. I oh, mean, I, there's also, there's going to be stuff that they are, that stuff you've never even heard of. Mm -hmm. Stuff that like went out of fashion. Like, uh, cause you know, in like the fifties, they would do like a jello loaf with hot dogs in it. Mm -hmm. like, and it's like, now we're talking. They're not making that anymore. Hey, you're <laughs> 65 bucks. You're getting the jelly loaf. Yeah. <laughs> That's, the, That's the move. They're like, we're doing the jelly loaf. Oh, sick. But there's stuff that has since gone out of style that they would be bringing up, I imagine. It is kind of weird. And I'm not saying this to be shady, but it's going to come across. But it's also Halloween. She looks like the end of death becomes her. <laughs> in this picture. Yeah. Like, who knew? Who knew? It's almost respectable, though, because it's like, when a person, like, in Hollywood ages at all, you're like, oh, good for them. They're just letting it letting it come. Yeah. Like, they're not, you know, they're not moving the house off the beach. They're letting the water come. <laughs> <laughs> they're not moving the Victorian mansion into the heritage <laughs> garden. Mm. Mm. Oh. Well, from one golden relationship to... One that's kind of brassed down. Kristen Cavallari says her ex, Mark Estes, will thank her one day after a shocking split announcement last yeah. week. I don't know if you heard about this. Uh, Kristen Cavallari was dating the one of the Montana boys from TikTok. Do you know the Montana boys? I don't. She was dating Jay Cutler at one point. They were married. They have kids. Yes. Yeah. They were the ones where during COVID got stuck in like a mansion or something in like they were on vacation. They got stuck for like a month, maybe two months, and then they immediately divorced right after that, right? Cabin fever. Yes, because I think they literally were like, wow, it's so nice. We're stuck here. And then they were like, oh, we hate I each other. I fucking hate yeah. you. Go back to your wing. Yeah. Um, so 37-year-old Laguna Beach alone called her 24-year-old TikTok star her best boyfriend she's ever had and described the relationship as beautiful, very healthy, and very mature, and the best relationship of her life. Um, so she was on her Let's Be Honest podcast and she said uh, that one day Mark is going to grow up. He's only 24. Yeah, he's a child. <laughs> and he's going to thank her. He's going to say like, you you taught me so much and uh, one day I'm you're going to be grateful for breaking up with me. Um, so she's having a really hard time with this because recently she went, they both went on her podcast and they were like, 
who's the best sex you've ever had? And he's like, you, baby girl. And she's like, oh, really? Why would you say that? Like, yeah, it's that kind like, of He's stuff. 24. He's like, of course, the best. Like, yeah. He's going to be like, no, actually, it was uh, my the ch chick I went to prom with. <laughs> yeah. It was crazy. Which was three years <laughs> yeah, ago. It's like, it's yeah. also, I don't know. It's weird to be like, he's going to grow up. And it's like, what you... He should you shouldn't be admitting that he's not grown up. Well, he's twenty four. Yeah, he's like, grown up, but yeah, also but it's like, like he needs to grow up and not be a Montana boy on TikTok. What do they do? The Montana. I'm boys. so glad you asked. <laughs> uh, they mew, as the kids say. Oh, they're. Is that um, where you're like? Yeah, you do the kind of the Riz face. You do the you do this. Yeah, you gotta you gotta like mew. So he's one of the Montana boys, and they only. I've only seen them do one song where they like lip sync. It's that mm. you like country music, so okay. It's the it's that Luke Combs song. Uh, song the na 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 na. Yes. Okay. I'm done. Be inside that one, and that's all they do. And they just walk in front of the camera. This is him. Yeah. Well, that's all not their him. Veneers are out of control. Oh yeah, but these are yeah. these are just real men. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We can't play. That's him right there. Oh, okay. oh yeah. They're good-looking young guys. Well, I mean, yeah, you get veneers on a perm, and yeah, that's good-looking. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's what they do. And I don't know. I, I I have... I've never dated somebody... Montana boy. So she's 37, he's 24, and I think he's like a college football player. Wow, okay. There's an adult version of this guy who... Um, he is from my hometown. He actually works with my dad and he has a, he's just a guy, a very jacked cowboy who's like 40 and he just like dances on his truck at the gas station. And makes TikToks? <laughs> and makes TikToks. And I don't think he's figured out how to monetize it. He has a lot of followers. Yeah. But he works with my dad at an oil company. And how does your dad <laughs> feel about this? Because uh, he's like, oh God, there goes Gary. Yeah, again. he's, well, yeah, there's, he sent it to me. He's like, do you know this guy? And I was like, I've seen the videos, but there's no way I know this guy. Mm -hmm. We're not like in... He's I, not hitting your, yeah, F, think, your For You my page. My dad is like, oh, you guys are both technically in entertainment. You yeah. guys must be going to all the same things. It's like, no, he's going to dancing cowboy things. Is he single? I don't know. I think he has a lot of children from around. Wait a minute. Different pumps. Because this is the thing. This is what's happening now because there's these guys, these grown men who are getting on... I mean, these guys. These are yeah. these are not the Montana boys. These are the fucking Arkansas boys. Yeah, yeah. There's, they're, they're doing some kind of collab. <laughs> oh, wait. Here. There's a... Wait, that's Montana boy. Oh, that's yeah. Mark, yeah. The better looking ones you seemingly are the Montana. This is their page. This is their But who's that? I, that's like their cousin. See, I I respect him. No. Because Graham, he's got he's Graham. just real. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's he's found a way perspective wise, he shouldn't be in the video. I just also have a question. Lookers. How am I gay and this is the gayest thing I've ever seen? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's they, what I want to know. Like uh, this is uh, yeah, this is God. The collab. His they, name I feel like Graham they all Burr. share like Dr. Squash soap. Yeah, they just, I don't. Um, These guys but, all drink Michelob Ultra. But like for uh, sponsorship. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Like, yeah. hey guys, I got another, <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. yeah. And I'm actually in the shower with my swim trunks on. And my bros as well. Um, but there's a thing that's happening right now with older guys with children and they're single. And I've mentioned this before on the podcast, but like they will get on. Instagram or TikTok. And it's, I feel like TikTok, I feel like I said this with Elliot Glazer, where social media has become like Craigslist misconnections. Yeah. Like, have you seen the lesbian? She's like, where's yeah, the baby I was girl? About yes, to be like, where's the, she's like, where's the girl <laughs> who, who wants to come on down and sit in my section while I'm at work? And I'm gonna wait on you, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give most of, most of it for free. Like, yeah. like yeah. I'm gonna be the pickle juice to your diet coke. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Where's the girl who wants to go to the fair and ride the ride that killed my nephew two years ago? <laughs> and how am I gonna? Like, like, it's like, but they're doing that yeah, where these guys yeah. are like, I got my my three daughters just looking for another mama. Yeah. Mo no 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah I know. Uh, yes. I wonder if that works. I really want to find your dad's coworker. I could, yeah. I I wish I, I bet if you just typed in gas pump cowboy. Oh my god, it just sounds like gas pump dancing cowboy. As I'm drinking my <laughs> hillbilly yeah. juice. Yeah. Hold on. Is it gas pump dancing man? Oh, gas pump. Oh, the pickle is really setting in on this. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, here we go. Um, no. There's a lot of cowboys. Uh, there he is. Oh my God, you fourth, found it? Fourth, fourth video. One, two, three. 
one? This yeah, is your dad's, dad's coworker? coworker? Yeah. People were watching. Oh, it's already creepy. Oh. <gasps> We I can't, know, we I know can't this, put the is a, music this is on. a great gas station. It's Sully's on Hegeman and <gasps> He's not waving to anyone. There was no one waving. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> nice ass. Uh, yeah. See, of course. Same truck as my dad. That's a work truck. Oh, weird. <laughs> yeah. But what's this? This has a million likes. <laughs> of course, but then there's if everyone in the comments, it's uh and that, boys, is how you wear a pair of jeans. It's the way yeah. those jeans fit. One comment just says, yum. Another one says, God bless God America. God bless America. Yeah. Th is this him? That is him. Tim Dobbs. Yeah, Tim TD. Dobbs, 90. He's a beast. Two million followers? I'm telling you. Wait, is he doing stand-up now? Why does he have it, a microphone? No, I think that's him at a concert. Oh, God. Yeah, but the, it is my dad's homeboy. <laughs> So when is your dad going to come? I know, that's what, yeah, you know, to get my dad in on the we, video. Yeah. You see my dad in, in the corner doing the thing. You're like, my dad's yeah. a Montana boy. Yeah. Like, oh, wow. My dad kind of looks like all the Costco guys mixed see, together. that's the thing. You just got to be... <laughs> hot cowboys are like having a thing. This is why I actually wore yeah. this shirt today. He's, this is great style he has, the denim and everything. I do respect him for what, I don't know. He's, yeah. He's giving them what they want. And he got a new truck. <laughs> this is it. See. Wait, what is took a little break from TikTok, but back at it with that new GMC. Oh, GMC yeah. truck. I thought it stood for something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what is GMC? Great, great American car. Great American <laughs> car. Yeah. Oh, wow. Good. So that's what we got. God dude. bless you, Tim Dobbs. So yeah. follow him and, and look up uh who <laughs> Bruce's dad works with. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, my dad's coworkers. That's a big <laughs> he has more followers <laughs> yeah. than all of us. Yeah. My God. <laughs> Quit oh your day God. job. Isn't that what yeah. they say? Quit your day job, Tim. My wow. Dad, my dad needs him out there. Well, I mean, it's it's the jeans. <laughs> He's got a good good ass. That's what it is. Yeah. I'm going to um, BBL just so I can wear Wranglers like that. You should. I, I think know. we should all go into like a good... I said it last week. Ranch and fall. Yeah. <laughs> Ranch. Let's do it. It would be very wild if I showed up and just had a crazy BBL. And I was like, hey, <laughs> guys, what's up? Bruce, uh, 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 you've been gone for a while. Jeans are insane. <laughs> you just have this big ass. Yeah, like, yeah. Damn. I'm on, on stage trying to pull my shirt down. But like, this didn't turn out. I'm trying I to think of... Like, I'm like, there's not a lot of comics... I think probably this is probably the wrong person to ask. Who has the best ass on best stage? Best male ass. Best male ass. Um, who's like a hot guy comic? Me. Well, yeah. <laughs> but I'm trying to think. I'm thinking more in the Tim Dobbs range. Yeah, the, I'm trying to think who. Because I don't. I I really can't. It's not. I honestly not can't tell you who. It's not as many hot guy. Well, there's not. We're not really around a lot of hot guy comics. I feel like we're around a lot of actual comics and it's not like a good like a good like like if you see someone you're like damn like ass not like face I'm like Ugh. yeah everyone's like my brother here yeah that's what I'm saying. it's like all your but I mean like if you looked at someone's like ass you'd be like that's a good ass it's funny because this week I'm gonna be like oh damn that's who it should you're gonna be on yeah. ass watch swear to God for no good reason and I know it's not even true the first person who came to my mind was Rick Ingram and I was like there's no real way no, that's true at all I don't think Rick has a, a good ass no. sorry I would think like. Santino, maybe? That's very possible. But I don't want to give him that. Yeah. I'm not giving you that. Yeah. Um, maybe AJ Faji, the door guy. He's very tall. He's, like, <laughs> he's also a pharmacist. He's like six foot five. I feel like Steve would have uh, uh, Steven, the... Sound guy? Yeah. That's very possible. I think he would have I a good... So. He is always dressed like a farmer anyways. So yeah. Might maybe as well. he's trying to hide something. Well... Okay. <laughs> Maybe he's trying to hide his big male ass. He just has like 5 million followers yeah. next week. We're like, shit. He's dancing at the gas station. We but. told him. <laughs> um, well, here's somebody who dances at the gas station oh. and in her kitchen. Britney Spears. Um, she has this... Uh, what is he? Is he the... Handyman. He's the handyman slash gardener, gardener boyfriend, which Deadbeat he's boyfriend. been gone for a while. Um, his name is Paul Solis, but now in the news, it's saying that he took three of his kids to live at her house, according to his, his, his mother-in-law. Mother -in you know she's mean as hell. Oh, like he took the damn kids to live took, at Britney Spears. I house. know. Like, what's what? I mean, there's so many reasons to call Child Protective Services yeah. at this point. One, the kids have been kidnapped. B, 
Two, they're living with Britney Spears. Three of <laughs> I his, went with B. One and B. Three of his at least nine, nine kids. Can't even keep yeah, track three of at least it. nine kids. <laughs> three wow. of his at least nine kids live at Britney Spears' house. Man, dirtbags are having like a real run right now. Yeah, the, we went the from alli alligator guy, rat boy, dirtbag. That's, that's who it is. Lady. Yeah, she buy you been, bros. Yeah. That yeah. guy. This guy has a 13 tattoo. That's gang related. Oh yeah, no, we right. know. Like he he's he's definitely in a gang. He looks like the uh gang Ke Kevin Federline, I yeah. think. He has a lanyard hanging out of his pocket that's very He has the vibe of like the the a cool the coolest janitor at the school. But also like don't get too close to him kids. No, yeah. he's bad news. Like all the kids love him, but like the teachers won't allow him around. Them. Yeah, he. Dre I mean, yeah. Wow, <laughs> Britney Spears is she insane? Oh, she's yeah. She's really. Is she still doing the knives? She's not doing the knives. They took but the knives. <laughs> she is doing the Instagram videos. The last one I think that she did public was when she was like, "Oh my God, Sabrina Carpenter like mentioned me, and it's crazy because I forget that I'm famous and." Yeah, and she looks a little like strung out, and yeah. you know, but everyone's like, "Yes, Queen, serve!" And where, we're like, "What? Where do you meet her if you're that guy?" <sighs> That's a really good question. Like where and what? Because Britney Spears seemingly always has a boyfriend or a new guy. That's I around, mean, right? I don't think she really leaves the house. So I, I'm sure he like came over and she like. Oh, wait, he was doing work at the house, probably. That's and she what was it said. Looking out the blinds and just like. This is a story about a girl named Lucky. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's in there. He's like, yo, dude. Hey, I've been fucking Britney Spears. Dude. So this is so he has three of his kids there. The mother-in-law is like, yeah, there's three of of uh, the kids. My grandkids are there. Uh, Smith, uh, who is the mother, uh, claims that the son-in-law does not pay child support for any of his children, and despite this, is trying to move them all into Spears' home one by one. Um, <laughs> one by one. He's, yeah. He's, a, he's I mean, literally like a... He, we really need to secure Britney's yeah, borders. He's, he's like a coyote. He's like sneaking his children We need her. Britney control in this country. I'm wow. sorry, border control. Britney control. Okay, so he... Uh, yeah, so he I mean, it shows that he owns makes makes twenty seven or yeah. twenty seven hundred bucks. He's a responsible month. for one thousand one hundred sixty seven dollars per month in child support plus half of health care costs for his children, Tristan, Dylan, and Violet, who are there. He shares five kids with this woman named Priscilla. The documents also show that Solis earns twenty two thousand seven hundred seventy three dollars per month while. Mancilla has no income. So the mom has no income. He's making money. He's not paying child support. <laughs> he is technically making money. He's making $27,000. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brittany's not paying well. Yeah. 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 I mean, in some cases, this guy's somewhat of a hero. Is he? To like, to like the dirtbag dudes oh. who are like, yo, dude, I'm moving into Britney Spears' house. So here's a quote. Oh, no. Quote, he's a loser. Uh, <laughs> Smith slammed on the Drew Lane show Friday. He says that I stressed him out because I called him a deadbeat dad. Okay. So deadbeat dad fall. So three of these kids are living with Britney Spears. One, two, three, don't need a baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so the other six are probably like, fuck. I know, dude. they're like living with Britney Spears, but also, I don't know. Can you go back up one? There's yeah. a very, it says, my husband fell in Britney Spears' pussy. <laughs> <laughs> is that a? Is that, I, was there? A, did he fall? Did this a? How did he do that? <laughs> well, it, the rest of the quote. He was married, and now he denies his children. He de neglects his children for her. Yeah, I mean, a good, he, two thirds of them. I mean, that's, <laughs> he has nine, and he's got the three with him. I think this is what Gwen, uh, Glenn Close should have said in the. Uh, <laughs> The deliverance, yeah. Wait, can we go back up? He fell He's like, in. My husband fell in Britney Spears' pussy. <laughs> that's a, a scary... What was that, Glenn? <laughs> it was a scary, scary story. What a thing to say, but like, why not just say like, oh yeah, he fell in love with Britney Spears. No, he fell in. Yeah, there's no love. He just, he fell in. He tripped in. down the stairs and that's where he landed. And well. <laughs> On the job. He's getting workman's comp because he fell down the stairs of her house and landed in her put. That's crazy. <laughs> But here's the thing. They, they, need to, they need to take a note from your dad's co-worker's playbook 
And they start making dancing videos together. The kid, well, now she has a whole crew. I know. She has like a whole like in the back. Well, like she's lost her other two, so. Oh, I mean, did she? I mean. She, they, they went, she's bringing in new well, people. Well, like one of them like turned 18 and he's like, bye. And uh, the other one's like with K-Fed. I think it's just a, there's turnover with these things, you know? <laughs> you, you're just, you're, you lose some, you get, get, you get some. more in. It's, it's just a just, toxic work yeah. environment. If yeah. you catch my You ever breath. worked at a restaurant? Some people leave, some people, some come, people come back. Come back, yeah. yeah. Seasonal, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. School's we only get, out, I'm yeah. back for the break, yeah. <laughs> Um, well, speaking of somebody who came back from a break, oh. Wendy Williams, oh. God bless. You know things are rough when Wendy Williams just goes, <gasps> yeah, and has that? something to say. Wasn't she, like, not doing... Yeah. Like, she was, like... I saw a video of her. She looked, like, kind of like a... You know, on uh, SpongeBob, where it's like the oldest woman ever, and she's like chocolate. You know that lady where she's in a wheelchair and she—that's Wendy yeah. Williams had that vibe. I, <laughs> wait, the worm? And you thought you thought I that? I saw a video of Wendy Williams where she looks like she was on her deathbed. What is that? <laughs> it's, the, it's a very old woman. <laughs> that I, that looks like a a, a turd. <laughs> that's an old. That's a woman. Yeah, it's that it's that old other old woman's mother. <laughs> <That's terrible. laughs> it's like a Beetlejuice character. Oh. Okay, so Wendy Williams, she's back alive. Yes, yes. I was going to say, I've always thought Wendy Williams kind of uh, gave me uh, E.T. in drag vibes. E.T. in drag. That little one where it's like the blonde wig at the bottom. Yes, yeah, she, man, she like... Look at her. How you do? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, she famously was like really like... <laughs> How you doing? It's the same vibe it's as the, the same, it's the same vibe. vibe as the as the warm. I mean, <laughs> if look, yeah, I all, I stand by it to this day and always. Yeah, they should not have. Done yeah, that. hot topics. All yeah. right, uh, but. You know, all these, like, Diddy allegations are coming out, and um, she went after him all the time on her show. Oh, yes. Being a pervert? Well, yes. Oh, and, per like, being pervert. an awful... Like, per yeah. Pervert's the least thing. Yeah. I heard he's a little nasty guy. I heard he's a gentleman. Yeah. No, he. she would always go after him. She had this, like, radio show, radio show before her talk show. She's now breaking her silence following the arrest of uh, Sean Diddy Combs on allegations of sex trafficking. The host had been fearless throughout her career, um, targeting Diddy on more than one time for what she saw as problematic behavior or concerning behavior. She says, what is really weird is that I have been told by so many people, Wendy, you called it. <laughs> so Williams told the Daily Mail in a new statement, including some people from my family who have said the same. Williams also spoke at the, about the video of the disgraced music mogul seemingly physically abusing his then-girlfriend Cassie Ventura in a hotel. You know how I feel about that. It's about time, Williams said of Diddy's arrest. To see this video on TV of Cassie getting pummeled is pummeled. just horrific. Did you see that video? Of, I it was did. Kind of in, it yeah. was insane, and I think it was. Whew, pummel, but, pummeled is just a. Pummeled is a great word. It's like that's like a. I mean, it's awful, but yeah, it's a, like it's such a. It's a WWF term. Pummeled, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, smackdown. Yeah, it's a video. Yeah, it's a video was, Williams also told the outlet that she's doing good amid her aphasia diagnosis and health concerns, including Graves' disease. Uh, she stepped away from her show in 2021. But I mean, here's the thing: when something is getting so much media coverage that. People are like, Wendy, what do you think? She's like, I told you, yeah, bitches. She I is should. that worm in the chair. Yeah. Like, oh, chocolate. I want, it's like, it's crazy because of how much coverage this Diddy stuff is getting that it's like, even talking about it on stage now, it's like, it seems Yo, like- Yeah, what are people saying on stage? Because I haven't been really around. Uh, I wasn't around last week because I was sick. Yeah. And, um, but I, what are what are people saying? People is it still, or is it like, tired? What's Argus Hamilton saying? <laughs> you know, Diddy- <laughs> Don did dude or did the dude. Uh, the, <laughs> he should not have done that. Um, I don't even know. I'm kind of bored of I've mostly, what I've been talking about a little bit is just that the exact number of things that he owned. We should, there's just too much of that. But there's mm -hmm. no reason for us to be like, did you know se Diddy had 754 dildos? And you're like, who's no, counting? Yeah, literally. And just the idea of a guy counting all of those and then somebody interrupting him in the middle and being like, God, motherfucker, I have to restart the dildo count. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like being a door guy. Yeah. You know, it's like you have to pay your dues. You got to yeah. count the dildos, yeah, you know? There's a dildo counter. Mm. I just... I think it's really interesting because Land and I were talking about this earlier, how everyone has like some sort of 
conspiracy. Like even today, I saw something that were like, here's video of Diddy trying to kiss Bono at this award show. And you see him like go in for a hug. It doesn't look like yeah. he's going to be like, oh. yeah. but like Bono's like, okay, get off of me. But I will say this. I did see the video of, um, okay, this video is kind of weird. Oh, she had him on. Yeah. Um, can we play the sound? Well, this is... Yeah, yeah. Okay, we can play this. It says okay. that... Well, okay, so... Did, so Diddy ate Wendy up with this. She wanted to cancel the whole damn show after this. As the mother of a now 16-year-old. Oh. Uh, well, I met backstage. She was... He did? He's a great, great young man. Oh, lady. thank you. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you represent a lot. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. I know. She's like, <laughs> um... Uh, uh, what do you mean by meat? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's like, he's a really nice young man. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah. Uh, I, you know, there's so many like of these weird, like there was an interview with Diddy and Bieber and Bieber was like, oh yeah, Diddy's parties. And he was like, ha ha ha, we're not supposed to talk about those parties, Bieber. Ha ha. Yeah. And it I was just, just very, very strange. I'm just never, whenever some, because right now everybody like is like, especially like right wing people are like, it's going to take everything down. Or like, even like whenever the Epstein stuff, whenever Epstein. Yeah, where's like, that? And whatever they're like, it's all going to happen. It's just like, there's all these like promises of like this grand scheme that mm -hmm. has been operating and whatever and how it's gonna come to light and it just never does. And it's like maybe it's not real or maybe it's whatever, but it's just, it just seems like nothing is gonna happen and this is just gonna go, he's probably gonna go to jail and it's gonna go away. Well, it is interesting because I'm getting into the Freak off game. You're well, <laughs> I'm starting to throw my own freak off. I'm so having a freak off yeah. engagement party, and everyone's yeah. invited. There was a big gap in the yeah. freak off scene, and we now have a <laughs> crocodile mile inflatable yeah. covered in lube. Um, no, but like it's it, like the GHB baby baby oil conspiracies is what I'm getting into right now. Is that where he was saying that? So is that that? I mean, obviously, we have over a thousand bottles of baby oil. Uh, and they're saying that there was GHB and yeah. the baby oil. and Yeah. Okay. Because if you ingest baby oil, it can cause symptoms of pneumonia. If you ingest baby if oil? If you ingest baby oil, it can get in your system and it like kind of poisons your yeah. body. But your body, but people, doctors will be like, oh, you just got like pneumonia symptoms. And Diddy's wife died, weirdly enough, at a young age from pneumonia. Yon, yon, yon. And the ingesting of baby oil, is that just that there's so much around that like... Yeah. It's, you're, some of it's like, if you were on a slip and slide, mm -hmm. obviously you're going to ingest water. Right, right. So is that the idea that it's there's like, like so much of it that... There, if it just like gets in your system, I guess, oh. or, or like, you know, you put it in your, you know, Diet Coke, Drink? How is it? By yeah, the way? Yeah, is it good, Bruce? And your Dua Lipa. Keep drinking it, Bruce. Isn't it delicious? <laughs> I'm like, whoa, man. This I'm tastes like Johnson and Johnson. I think I have neurovirus. But or... <laughs> also with the whole like Diddy and Ashton Kutcher were friends. And I think that like people are saying, this is all allegedly. Alleged. Um, that Ashton and Diddy were friends and that Ashton knew too much. And Ashton at the time was dating Brittany Murphy. Brittany Murphy died from. Pneumonia. Uh, what, oh, no, I thought it was mold. I'm technically, no. her and her husband did, right? Her husband did too, yeah. Oh, and then, have you ever, uh, I got into this recently, this Ashton Kutcher uh, murder thing. What about, there, what about it? There's some oh, yeah, yeah. There's some whole thing where Ashton Kutcher was dating, this is all, of course, I don't know anything really, that Ashton Kutcher was dating this woman or going to go on a date with this woman, and then she turned up dead, and like apparently he was like, no, she blew me off. And then there now there's a different woman coming out being like, Ashton, you know where you were. You know what you did. And it's like a whole, because <laughs> apparently he like went to there and like tried to be like, hey, I thought we were going on a date. And then he was like, oh, God, my fucking... Uh, fingerprints are going to be on this thing. So then he apparently, it was way back in the day when that, that 70s show was like big. So he like called Danny Masterson and was well, like- I mean, he's the person yeah, to call. Like, hey buddy, oh man, I don't know what to do. And he was like, this is, I read this a few nights ago and I can't remember all of it, but- I watched, I watched a YouTube video on it and it was, it was exactly that. And then Danny Masterson- uh, show, was like, well, do you want to have a career or do you want to be the guy that date got murdered? You know, it's like, do you, like you're better off just saying she blew you off, yeah. wipe your fingerprints, because some some people are telling the story as so far as like he he like went in and and saw her, yeah, and then had to like back out and like hide his tracks. Ooh. Stuff. It it's is wild world of Hollywood. It is kind of wild. It's very strange. And, and I, you know, I, 
I'm it's interesting because there's so many more little tidbits and you know Kesha's like I've got 10 years of of shit that I can blow this industry yeah. up and you know people who have songs about Diddy and their songs they're changing the lyrics and it's a whole yeah. thing. Well, we go from P. Diddy to G. Diddy. No. Um, Garth Brooks. Oh, God, no. <laughs> this is crazy. Over the weekend, I know, I did tell you, I was like... A lot gonna... of people have reached out to me for comment because I've been an un unashamed Garth Brooks fan mm -hmm. for many years. I, uh, man, this this has really hit home. Well, this is all alleged still. You know yeah. what I mean? This I feel podcast like... should just be called alleged. Alleged. <laughs> Allegedly, Allegedly with Justin Martindale. Allegedly with Justin Martindale. It's honestly because... Uh, he was accused from one of his, uh, I guess, what was she? Makeup a, uh, artist. Huh? She, she was a makeup artist. Makeup artist, She was yeah. Miss Trisha's makeup artist. I can't believe they're bringing Miss Trisha into this. I man. know when they bring, look at you, <laughs> Miss Trisha. <laughs> Miss Trisha, no. Yeah. Come on, Miss Trish. So he had, you know, he's married to Trisha Yearwood, but two days before he was accused of being a hair and makeup Sorry, girl. he's so fucking insane looking. That's yeah, this, this picture, is like a mix of Chris Gaines and brutal. Garth. Yeah. yeah. Um, so two days before he was accused of, you know, being this woman, they went on uh, their house. They sold their house. So the award-winning wow. country music singer's wife told the sold the Tennessee home less than 24 hours before the allegations went public. <sighs> no, Miss Trisha, no. Uh, during a recent interview, the shameless singer told outlets how he appreciates his wife sticking by his side through their 19-year marriage. Brooks said about his 60-year-old partner who married, who they married in 2005, my favorite thing about getting to be Miss Yearwood's partner is the good times, uh, but also going through the bad times together because that makes you one. We have a love that's going to last beyond this lifetime. I found her in the last life. I'll find her in the next one. Oh what a weird thing to he's say. A weird, he's the weirdest. I don't know. There was a doc that was came out during the pandemic mm -hmm. about him on Netflix. He's a crazy person. Not in like a weird, like, what? Not in like a Diddy Britney Spears way, but he's just a weird. I think that being that famous takes a piece of your brain. Sure. And like, you just, the way he's talking in the thing, he cries like every five seconds. He's a very emotional person. He's an person. incredibly emotional guy. And in the thing, he's like talking about his daughters, like playing high school volleyball. And he's like, they just. <laughs> like, they just, he like quivers and Get breaks together, down Garth. every five seconds. And it's like, He's so fucking weird. Mm -hmm. He's un he's that's what you whenever you had mentioned it to me in DM, I was like, he's too weird to come back from this. And it's like he's Is he though? You he's think so? So fucking weird. We saw the Chris Gaines cover. Yes. I remember very, very uh distinctly how he went into this, like, I'm gonna be a rock star now. Do we remember the Chris Gaines cover? He there's too many yes men around him. He's never been really told no. Obviously, oh, in this case. Yeah, look at I this. Mean, this this woman. Oh, there's no reason for it. I, I couldn't even tell you a Chris Gaines song. I couldn't either, but God damn it. I This right here, these side-by-sides is... So you have Garth Brooks, Rope in the Wind, which is giving Joker. Chris Gaines, Greatest Hits, giving Joker part two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're like, why due. are you going to mess with a good thing? It's just... It doesn't show a good look whenever you've already done something to be like, you know, I have a dark side to me. Well, it also doesn't like, look good when you're like 24 hours before I'm accused of this, please, we're selling the home. get off of this stuff. Oh, God. Oh, uh, I don't know. And apparently what happened was the this woman came over to their house. He was like in the shower, had a towel around him. He dropped the towel, grabbed her hand, put it on his uh, friends in low places. <laughs> and... Uh, and, you know, this woman came forward, so... Yeah, uh, I think it was, like, multiple times that says, too, because it's also, like, he, she was saying that he had to go to L.A. to do something, and so mm -hmm. she, like, came with him, and he, like, it was just them two on the jet. Yeah. And she's just a makeup artist, and it's, like, not, you know, not just whatever, but it's, like, seemingly... You don't need to bring a makeup artist with you. You could be, like, hey, I'm coming out to L.A., can... I'm one of the richest people ever, whatever. Can you send me a makeup person? Yeah. Because it's not like there's this person, but I feel like you're especially as like someone who looks like that. It's not like you have, if you're a, like a lady who like does a very certain thing, I feel like you have your person. Or seemingly if you're a dude, it's just like, hey, I got it. You just put foundation yeah. on. I just, can you do the thing yeah. I'm supposed to have done to me? Yeah. And they're also referring to this woman as Jane Rowe, which I'm just like, oh, I love a Jane Rowe. Yeah. 
I mean, Roe is stand up for women's rights, literally. Not Jane Doe. Yeah. Jane Roe versus Wade. Yeah. Jane Roe versus Brooks. Yeah. Well, Roe is that was also a fake. Roe is a fake name as well. And, yeah, yeah, and yeah. No, it's just she Ro doesn't v want to come Ro forward. Roe v. Wade. But uh, yeah, she says she went through some very traumatic experiences, including sending lewd text messages, groping her, and exposing himself on multiple occasions. Um, Roe claims that the trauma she endured also made her contemplate suicide. So that's pretty intense. It's incredibly intense. And it's just, man, he put out a whole thing where he was like, I mean, there's a, every time something like this happens, that person puts out a statement. His statement, pretty solid. And what he's saying is like, you know, I'm, she's shaking me down for hush money. Yeah. She's wanting money from me. Uh, he says, for the last two months, I have been hassled to no end with threats, lies, and tragic tales of what my future would be if I did not write a check for many millions of dollars. Hush money, no matter how much or how little, is still hush money. In my mind, that means I'm admitting to behavior I'm incapable of. Ugly acts no human should ever do to another. Um, I love Garth Brooks so deeply, and this is tragic. I know if anything happens, poor Trisha, she's going to be like, how this do I would. live <laughs> without you? This year would. Uh, she used to say It would be a shake-up in country music for sure. It really, and this is just, it happens, it's crazy how often this has happened with people that I like. And maybe it's me. Maybe yeah. I'm the problem that I like people that turn out bad. Well, I loved the movie Get Him to the Greek. I thought it was a very funny movie. Okay. And the stars of that movie, uh -huh. P. Diddy, Russell Brand, and Jonah Hill. Who Jonah <laughs> you can't watch that. Jonah Hill, I don't know how this thing wasn't that bad, but you can't. Well, if if anything happens to Garth, at least we know Jojo Siwa can, can step take, in. take over yeah. because she has also submitted her album. Album. <laughs> song. Do you think she submit did you know this she submitted her her song Karma to the Grammys to uh be um what's it called uh, uh considered considered for album of the year song of the year Jojo I I feel like I I imagine you've covered Jojo Siwa pretty With extensively. Kelly. Yeah. But what is what is her deal? She's trying to do the Miley Cyrus Hannah Montana split and it's just going not working the way that it did. I think so. Cuz Miley did the same thing but like was like I'm crazy. Yeah. And then like it worked for her. It takes a while but it's I like I think she she did it where she was almost annoying. Well, she was annoying enough to where people yeah. were like, okay, we're jumping ship. She had like dreads. She thought she was twerking. She'd be yeah. like, hey guys, I like weed. And we're yeah. like, okay. She's also infinitely talented, which well, is like right. Jojo Siwa. Yeah. And then her team fucking snapped her out of it and she did Wrecking Ball. And she was like slicked hair on a Wrecking Ball, still provocative, yeah. still, but like toned down, gorgeous, like Guys, I know sank. I seemed crazy back then, but <laughs> y'all, I'm crazy, yeah, but I'm, I got it under control. <laughs> What's that video where she's like, <laughs> it's always a like, <laughs> and they, like, and they pair it up with something? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, I say the radio. <laughs> like, what are you? He sounds like the coach from the water boy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh, I God. Got out of the thing. <laughs> um, well, here we have a YouTuber asking if the children are okay. YouTuber uh, Jack, Jack Doherty, Doherty total says $200,000 McLaren during a live stream after apparently texting while driving in the rain. What could go wrong? I saw this video yesterday. So this guy, Jack Doherty, totaled his $200,000 uh, McLaren supercar as he apparently texted and drove in the rain while live streaming. Video shows him, uh, he's 20 years old, internet star, which I hate, looking down at his phone in his hand as he drives along a slippery Miami highway Saturday. Seconds later, Doherty loses control of the vehicle, screaming as he glides across the right lane and smashes into a guardrail. Now, he didn't just smash into the guardrail. The car, went underneath the guardrail. Yeah. I saw this video. Are you familiar with him? I just know he's a YouTuber and I hate him. So <laughs> this is, he's probably the most hateable and I don't even know. Oh, he is. So I hate quite, him for, he's, a, okay. he's the worst. Okay. Actually, so he famously has incredibly large bodyguards and will walk oh, around. Oh, he's that guy? Like, will like walk around a mall and, and be like, like piss off yeah, people. Yeah, like push a Korean woman oh. and then be like, what are you going to do? Oh. And then a security guard. I didn't know that was him. He's the worst. He apparently, like, there's weird shit about him. He has the this haram of women that are like. I'm sorry, a what? Haram. A harem? Harem, haram. <laughs> Wait, what's, is it harem? 
I'm thinking of Haram like uh like the I think it's kind of similar. It sounds to like a friend of it's yours. Similar, yeah, it's similar to kosher, but I think it's the complete opposite. <laughs> a harem of women. Uh, he has a harem of women who a Haram. I don't know. Why I was trying to <laughs> spice it up. He has a harem of women that. Uh, are like on OnlyFans and like people think that he's like this master manipulator thing. I think he, but he has a ton of money. But I did see this video and in the video he's like crawling out of the, somebody is pulling him out of the car. And he's still and he, filming. He, he hands them the phone is like, you, can, oh. you, can you get this? And it's like, oh God. And then his friend is like, well, yeah. In pieces. Well, he, yeah, the footage shows uh, Doherty examining his wrecked, wildly custom paint car, which I think the car, the paint job's kind of fun. I get it. It's very, yeah. you know, if you're 20, that's the McLaren you buy when you're 20 years old. Yeah. It's insane. So the social media star who is now shirtless in the clip, Kicks his mangled whip twice. All my money's gone, Doherty says before listing the upgrades she shelled out. Big bucks on the vehicle, including a custom exhaust system as and its paintball gun splattered paint job. So yes, he is getting pulled out of the car. He's still filming. There's smoke filling up the entire like car. And uh, he leaves his friend in there, I guess. I, what was his friend doing? Was he His friend is just like... I think filming with him or driving filming? or just hanging? All these... Which, it, maybe it's a pretty sweet life if you're just, like, one of these guys' friend. Like, you just are always around. Because I did some music videos for, like, YouTuber people that, like, were pretty big at the time. Yeah. And I, like, this is, like, five years ago. And, like, being around them and their, like, friends who were just there, I'm like, oh, you guys just are? Like, you Groupies. just kind of exist? Like, yeah. you just... And so his friend is probably the same. It says he's the cameraman. Okay. Everyone's a cameraman yeah. these days. I'm a cameraman. Yeah, <laughs> we do, we yeah we have cameras going. We don't need it. It is no kind of crazy. So he leaves his friend in there. He starts filming himself getting out of the car. His friend's bloodied up. Um, he was actually hurt. But now I guess his followers or his fans are saying that he should be charged for uh, potential reckless whatever. reckless driving. Yeah, he's driving like eighty miles an hour in the rain and on the phone. Car. We had 185,000 people watching live. Whenever. Oh, so, oh, it was actually like yeah. a live stream. Yeah. So this happened in real time. Yeah. I mean, this guy, guys like this just, they are always on the stream. He, we saw him a couple weeks ago. We were on the patio here. Here? And he, yeah. And he walked by uh. and I so badly wanted to be like, we, we should goad him in here and be like, then just have to get on the live stream. It'd probably be bad for business, but get on the live stream of like him getting his comeuppance from like, come and have him come in here, start drama and then like get, like, was he walking down Sunset? He was sunset? just walking down Sunset. Were there like lights and stuff all around him? Oh, there was a guy with a camera with like the whole thing and then like, of course, his massive bodyguards. But that's his whole thing is he like, everybody hates him. Like people, he and he just makes a shitload of money. From I it. think I imagine all one hundred eighty-five thousand of those people were like, "Fuck this guy," but I can't look away. I think there's like people who exist just to like provoke and like that's their entire thing. But isn't this what like Jake Paul did? Yes and no, I think. And now he's like a fighter. Yeah, where I think that like Jake Paul, I think has this whole thing going on. Like, yeah. does this, does that? This guy, I think, literally just lives to be like a villain. And like make people hate him because people will hate watch all of his shit. So where does this end? Uh, I don't know. He got banned from Kick. So Kick apparently is like the Twitch. It's like Twitch, but yeah. it's like apparently you can do more stuff. But like I think that all of these big guys got like money from Kick to like not be on Twitch and go over there. So he got banned from that. That's actually crazy. I think. Yeah. I mean, kids, don't text and drive your McLaren. If yeah. you've learned anything. I did see that he's been banned from Kick before. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, they probably bring him back. They're but, probably like, I, but, we have like, to do something. Where does this, does this end? Do do we like, or do we just still build up? I mean, because clearly he bought a, you know, $202,000 car. That's actually crazy. I mean, it's funny enough that it means it's probably used because I think McLaren's are like $500,000. That's what I thought. That's yeah. like three hundred dollars or something they're, like they're that. very but, expensive. I mean, good for him. I mean, but I'm glad no one was hurt. I hope the <laughs> the cameraman recovers. But uh, speaking of the recovering, uh, did you watch <laughs> um, uh, the Menendez brothers? No, I didn't watch Monsters. it. I know enough about them. Oh, you do? But I... Like, I know what's going on, but I was doing this show the other night uh -huh. where they do, like, an audience suggestion, and then you have to 
do comedy based off of that. Mm-hmm. And somebody said the Menendez brothers. And then the host just was like, that was the first suggestion from the crowd. He's like, all right, great, Menendez brothers. And then we're all upstairs riding, being like, hey, there's nothing funny about this. Like, there's nothing like crazy. Be like, whoa, their parents were doing this, so they shot him. Like, yeah. it's not. People. Well, in the show, there's a lot, there's a lot to kind of. You know the show. The show paints them as kind of like maniacs, right? Yeah. No, you, you kind of go back and forth. You Here's the off. thing. So it was a huge trial. I love that Ryan Murphy is doing this series. He did Dahmer. Now he's doing the Menendez Brothers. We're having a, a third series with Ed Gein. Um, but the problem that I have with this is that Ryan Murphy takes it to where it's like we're going to take these like horrible people. And we're gonna cast them hot. <laughs> yeah, and they're so, good-looking guys back in the day. I, they're probably even hotter on the show. Eric was Lyle. <laughs> Lyle had a butter face. Which one is? Well, Eric not, is on the. Eric's you on like the, left. the one on the left. Correct? The left one was a little more like I get like kind of all American. Lyle yeah. looks kind of derpy. I think they both Man, look like they're at an audition for. A Were you more Lyle Montana or Eric? Okay, I'm Eric all day. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, you should do this with like go run through pictures. You do this with like the column by kids. Be like, what are you guys? Are you, oh da- are you Dylan or Eric? I've, I've, I've always watch. been Dylan. Yeah. You watch. It's going to be a thing yeah. like Ryan Murphy presents. So, you know, obviously they went to jail. They've been in jail forever. Uh, well, like, I, I think they've two life sentences between them. But the thing I have with Ryan Murphy is like, he'll take these cases, cast two really hot boys, give them very like homoerotic scenes. Yeah. They'll like have ripped bodies. They're taking showers with each other. Like everyone's just like, oh, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And so then there's like this, like kind of like it opens up the pop culture zeitgeist where like, even with Dahmer, it was like, oh my God, Evan Peters played Dahmer. So everyone was talking about yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer again. They actually had to make a statement last year at Halloween saying, please... No Dahmer. Do not dress up as Jeffrey Dahmer. He was a horrible, horrible person. And famously he killed gay people, right? Yeah, yeah. gay black people. Yeah. So he... And, yeah, and for the wheel parade, they're like, look, guys, please, we know you want to. We know don't, you want don't to, but do like, it. don't. It's like, I just love a rim glass. Yeah, yeah no. So um, Kim Kardashian is on the case. Well, Kim Kardashian, who is uh, America... <laughs> America's Ryan Murphy lawyer. Yeah. Um, she released a statement saying, like, it's time to like literally free them. Um, which no, Kim, it's not. And worry about the P. Diddy case that's coming your way. She's like, it's time to free everybody. Uh, we gotta free the Menendez brothers and P. Diddy. Uh, oh, is she involved with Diddy? We don't know. Oh god, it's just um, have you ever seen her in real life? Yes. Four several feet, times. Four feet tall. Oh, yeah. She's she's bobbled. Well, I knew her when she had her ass. Oh, yeah. She, Got rid of, she took it out? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You can just take it out now. But she surprised she didn't try to sell that. I'm sure. Well, the way wait. Enrique Iglesias tried to sell his mole. Oh, yeah. That. Good times. Yeah. But like. Uh, I bid. I bid. Uh, uh, <laughs> she, yeah. So she is. Uh, she's now. She hasn't even like passed the bar. She couldn't even pass the baby bar. Like, why are we. What? She went to um, the actual prison where the brothers are being held and she kicked, kicked and, it with them well she took um cooper coke who plays i think his name's cooper coke cooper cup cooper the football coke. player cooper coke oh, i don't know can we look that up real quick cooper c-o-o-p-e-r i think the cooper cup he's a receiver for the rams i was like what is he doing <laughs> oh. that's him yep oh yeah. he played so, yes yeah so she went with cooper coke to visit the brothers and talk about like you know, she wants to reform the like judicial system and yeah. like prison reform and all that kind of shit. Um, so now she's saying they have paid the price for their crimes in hopes they receive leniency given the alleged abuse they suffered at their parents' hands. However, her message did not resonate with some fans. People were like, stop it, Kim. They killed their parents. It's really interesting how, also, I'm so sorry, on the Cooper Coke thing, mm-hmm. if, can you go back to that for just one second? It, this really made me laugh just now. He was in a slasher film, it says by his Wikipedia, called They Slash Them. <laughs> that's like that's the funniest thing. If that becomes slang for non-binary people, if the, you call them slash slasher, they, they slash them. I'm they sorry. slash them. Yeah, that's yeah. That's the rivalry we actually need. Yeah, but that's it's kind of like the okay. So this is also and the happening. body horror film swallowed. Oh my god! All of this. He 
this is happening with the Scott Peterson thing right now too. Mm-hmm. Have you heard how there's this this because I watched the Scott Peterson thing mm-hmm. and there's another documentary that apparently the Innocence Project took on Scott Peterson's case and like there's this other documentary that apparently paints him as like because the other stuff seems like a slam dunk. Yeah. And then there's like another documentary that paints it where it's like he's actually innocent. So tons of people are really up in the air with that right now. It's wild because they even uh, uh, Ryan Murphy also has. American Sports Story, where they're doing oh, they the Aaron Hernandez, the yes, the Hernandez story, where they're like, you know, it's this hot guy and he's in jail and it's like he's gay and like hooking up with this guy and he's had this like, you know, gay hidden Dang, yeah. life of him and it's just like it's so like, oh my god, what are we doing? So get ready for a bunch of you know nineties. Maybe that's what Evan and I'll be. We'll go as Menendez brothers. <laughs> Menendez brothers yeah, we're like, mean, don't yeah. dress up like them. Cut yeah. to me and like neon, like dancing to Millie Vanilli. Have uh, uh, have you ever seen? There's a famous Mark Jackson basketball card. Have you ever seen? Does that? it look like I've I would, seen no, a I, famous I, Mark Jackson the, basketball <laughs> card? <laughs> Lee, can, can you pull up the Mark Jackson Menendez brothers? If you oh said, wait, the one with them in the crowd. Yeah, the one, I have see, seen don't that one. See, damn I you. didn't know what it was called. <laughs> yeah. I just I was like, oh, a base, a basketball card. Basketball. But it's like they're in the background yeah. of the card. It's like, and so it's of uh, people. It's selling for hundreds of dollars on. I'm sure it is. People will buy it because it's them two in the background. It's. I wonder what it will come of this. I don't think that Kim Kardashian being on the case... Well, a lot of people have told Kim to like, hey, knock it off. Like, this isn't what you want to say. This isn't the route you want to go. Because it was in the series, which I thought was great. I thought the series was really... It was good. It painted the parents out to be these like crazy abusers. But then at the end, they're like, no, they fabricated everything. They're sociopaths. They made up the whole thing. They just wanted their inheritance, which... I'm going to go with that. I honestly, I don't know Kitty and Jose Menendez, but I just There's going to be another it. doc that like the same thing with the, that's going to be like, no, here's actually, because I read, I mean, Ray, reading into it, it's like whenever they were kids, he went to the hospital with some insane injury to his face that was like, well, that's. Really? Like something about like his uvula. Uvula. That's uvula. Like, yeah. Like that's all yeah. fucked. Like weird. His harem in the back yeah, of his, his harem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just wild. <laughs> <laughs> tonsils are busted, like just weird but shit like that. It is, but no, because what they said was is that how that happened was he was he had a popsicle in his mouth and he fell and the popsicle like bruised the back of his throat. And everyone's like, it must have been the dad's dick. <laughs> yeah. Like it's just like That's, no, like I don't know. It's it's interesting. Everyone still has their thoughts on it, but I just feel like they were they just wanted a little bit of fame. Which, they one's the, the, which one is the the ringleader? Because one of them was getting whatever and was well, like, hey, knock it off. And the dad was like, all right. That's what they said. Is that, yes. Which well, is very that was Lyle. Like, well, one, all you gotta do is tell him to knock it off. Yeah. It's like, it's like, dad, cut it out. All right. <laughs> yeah. The one on the right. So that's Lyle. Oh man, that is interesting. And he's the one with the hair piece. So that was a hair piece. Was her dad involved in representing them? Uh no, but uh what's his name was? Um Robert Shapiro, and then he uh, dropped for, same. them for OJ. Mm, yeah, because that was the same. I it really, was good. That OJ series was great. With, yeah, with it's Kim really, really good. And I, I loved the Menendez Brothers series. I thought it was great. But again, it's like, Kim, just stop. Oh, man. It's really interesting to see how all these things are just going to keep... Like, sooner than later, they're going to be like, Charles Manson was innocent. Yeah. And people do say there's all kinds of conspiracy with that, but it's Oh, yeah. In two years, Dua Lipa is going to be like, it's time to (laughs) erase the narrative of Charles Manson. Yeah. And we'll be like, (laughs) okay, (laughs) sponsored by Diet Coke and jalapenos. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Habanero, pickle. Which, by the way, I hate Diet Coke, and this is really doing it for me. Damn. Yeah. Um, So Sarah Paulson has chimed in on the whole Kim Kardashian of it all. She says it's time the public takes Kim Kardashian seriously as an actress. Is this a backhanded compliment? No. This is like real. Because Kim, I don't know if you saw American Horror Story Delicate. Was she in that? Was she? (laughs) Um, Do you think she had to audition? Sarah Paulson has nothing but praise. While speaking with Yahoo Entertainment, Sarah Paulson dished on her upcoming role with the reality star and why she thinks it's time the public takes Kardashian seriously. She says, I think it's absolutely time for people to take Kim Kardashian seriously as an actress. She was absolutely excellent (laughs) in American Horror Story Delicate. Paulson, who's promoting her new psychological thriller, Hold Your Breath, set. Now, here's the thing. I love Sarah Paulson. I think she's great in American Horror Story. I love horror films, and last night I was like, hey, Sarah Paulson has a new horror film out called Hold Your Breath. Let's look it up. 45% on Rotten Tomatoes. I was like, 
don't you tell me I need to take Kim Kardashian yeah. seriously. It gets to a certain point where you're so famous for something else that if you try, like, if I was watching something and Kim Kardashian was in it, mm -hmm. I don't imagine I'd be able for one second to suspend disbelief in any way and be like, oh, I'm enjoying this. And be like, oh, fuck, dude, Kim Kardashian's here. Well, I only saw one tape from Kim Kardashian and that was enough. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine, yeah, they re-released that, but she does a slate at the beginning. <laughs> Hi, Kim Kardashian, four foot one, Malibu. Willing to travel, fully vaccinated. <laughs> oh, she's fully vaccinated. Um, it's just, it's just kind of weird because also Sarah Paulson, we Ryan Murphy did say that Kim Kardashian is going to have a new um legal series where she's a lawyer in town and Sarah Paulson, I guess, it's is like a reality it. thing, not like a show show. No, right? like a show show. What is... Everyone just quit. Just what have we learned? Enjoy your life. Look at Britney Spears. She's locked in her home dancing. Oh, so. Every, I would love to be locked in my home dancing with my bum-ass boyfriend. But also, <laughs> this is saying they're, they're, they're set to star alongside each other in the new legal drama All's Fair about a divorce lawyer, Kardashian, who runs an all-female law firm in Los Angeles. Glenn Close is also attached to the Hulu show. Attached. So this is going to be on Hulu. Why? Because the Kardashians are on where? Hulu. And uh, so... All Sarah this? says, I think the show wait, wait, wait. Sarah says, I think the show we're about to do together is going to be a tremendous amount of fun and she's going to be glorious on it. I have absolutely no doubt about that. Zero. This is your boss. Of course you're gonna say this about your boss. All this is gonna do is make Ryan Seacrest richer somehow. Yeah. <laughs> it's all a conspiracy to make Ryan Seacrest rich. He's that's who Ryan Seacrest, I'm gonna call it here. He's next. Something's going to come out. He's pulling all the strings. Really? It's that. just insane. And also, Land, does this not give you like Models Inc. vibes? Like, oh, very much. Right? It's like, oh, this female lawyer with her team of all girl lawyers in Los Angeles just trying to make it big. Like, uh, Models Inc. meets Alec McBeal. I just don't, I don't know how that, like, it really, like, some people are able to pivot into something and they're brilliant. And I just don't foresee this. And I don't know why you would feel like you need to do this stuff. To, like, what do you really need to prove as Kim Kardashian? Like, maybe do your law thing in private, whatever. But it's like, I just don't know why you would put yourself out there in a way that could turn everything on you. It and, really is. And it's upsetting. all only for like a self gratification thing. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's. <sighs> This is Kim being like, can you say this about me? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's so sad. Can well, say here's awesome. somebody who is just a saint no matter what she does. Dolly Parton has pledged millions in relief uh, to victims of Hurricane Helene. And she says, this time, it's personal. <laughs> I don't need no hickory-smoked hurricane yeah. ruining my town. <laughs> uh, let's see. The superstar who made an appearance at a Walmart. Let's. Go. I mean, my God, Dolly is just a saint. I love her. She has donated millions of dollars um, she was in Tennessee over the weekend. She pledged a million dollars to the Mountain Ways Foundation, which is helping East Tennessee communities they have been act, uh, that have been impacted by flooding brought on by the devastating storm. Her donation, she noted, would be matched by her companies, including the Dollywood Foundation and Dollywood Parks and Resorts. Yeah, it's just three million bucks. Like, come She's on. Great. She just does that. She's got... She is like the only celebrity who's just like, there you go. Yeah. Like she does it right. all. She's yeah. got like a like a bakery line. She's got she, what else? She has everything. She's like a like a dog costume line. <laughs> she has a chicken fried steak it's line. A dog a costume for dogs. I thought you meant like furries. She's like, no, we, oh my we gotta God. respect everybody. <laughs> <laughs> she also looked awesome at the uh last year when she just kind of popped out at the, the uh Cowboys the game? Cowboys yeah. thing. She was she incredible. Did. She did. She looked like a like a Disneyland person. She, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like a Disneyland person. Like in the in the Phantasmic Parade. Yeah, 100. Yeah. percent Oh my God! If Dolly Parton just showed up in the Phantasmic Parade, I would lose. She it. does. Anywhere I was, if she just popped out and was like, "Hey, y'all," I'd be like, "Of course." She just shows she's up and does her thing, you know. And that's what I love about Dolly. She just doesn't. She's not like. There's no questions asked. She's like, it, it impacted Tennessee. It's impacted Asheville. You know, Florida's about to get hit with another hurricane, which just turned into a, a, a right now, I think it's a five. Damn. Called Milton. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> that sounds like a I five. I feel like the name <laughs> Milton is a five. Yeah, I was going to say. Milton is a good five name. Yeah. Um, but Dolly also, it's not like she's trying to... She, it's kind of the complete opposite of what Kim Kardashian is doing. Where she's like, I need right. to get myself out there. I need to do this. There's no point where, po where Dolly's like, I'm starting the podcast. It's yeah. like, just... She, she just does it. She just exists. 
Oh, it's not like Dolly's telling Sarah Paulson to be like, hey, can you tell everybody that I'm a good hurricane relief person? <laughs> yeah. I'm really good, I <laughs> yeah. promise y'all. I relief a lot of people. Yeah. It's also funny because you, you, it's been around for a long time now. You don't even think about it, but it's like, it's complete opposite of Kim Kardashian where Kim Kardashian's like, I want to do this. And Dolly's like, I'm going to open an amusement park. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, well, exactly. I love roller coasters, y'all. I would actually have a lot more respect for somebody if they did something. Like, you know they're just fucking crazy rich. And you're like, oh, here's like a million dollars to help. Like, how many people that would help? Like, I'd be yeah. like, good for you. Awesome. But uh, I know that would never happen with the Kardashians because they're those kind of people, you know? Yeah. Um, all right, moving on. We have a couple more stories. We have Sabrina Carpenter, uh -huh. which um, is in the news. She has recently shut down lip-syncing rumors amid her short and sweet tour. So people are always going to come after you no matter what. Sabrina Carpenter is tired of it. The taste hit maker clapped back at critics on social media who accused her of lip syncing at her short and sweet tour after someone commented on TikTok asking if she ever sings live at her concerts. Another user posted a clip taken from one of her recent performances and claimed that it showed her lip syncing. They said, I hate to say it, but 30% lip syncing, 30% backtracking, and 40% singing. In the comments... That's math. The 25-year-old... <laughs> shot down the claims that she hasn't been singing during her sold-out tour and even offered to connect her detractors to members of her crew to prove it. Um, so what she did was she just turned off her back uh, backup vocals. She was like, now you're just yeah. going to get my whole song. And she did it. So I say good for her. I like her. She seems cool. And I like I her I really music. like her too. Where... Um is somebody, is she, because it's, okay, How it's like, when somebody like this pops up, there's all these different people that become, and only certain one of them that are doing pop stuff like this become, like, huge mm -hmm. in the gay community. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, oh. certain people, like, maybe, even, like, for, like, weirdly enough, Megan Trainer seems, like, huge. Easy. Or, like, what about, like, Ariana Grande, I think? Like, certain people do and certain people don't. Is she, like... Huge in that, do you know? So, oh, are you saying is Sabrina Carpenter big in the gay community? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right now, yes. Even but and then Chapel Roan also yes. is she's probably a, even bigger. I think they're kind of on the same level. Yeah. They kind of had the big girly summer of the year. I would yeah. say it would be in order. I would say Chapel, Sabrina, Charlie XCX. Those yeah. are like okay. the order I would give them. That's my opinion. Tamara <laughs> Judge. Yeah. Um, but, but it seems like that's. I've always noticed there were some of them become like icons in the whole thing, and yeah. the other ones are like kind of doing the same exact thing, but just are like skirted off. Like don't end up there. Well, I almost honestly, I'm only saying this by what I hear whenever I go to places such as Fiesta Cantina. When do you go know. to Fiesta I love Cantina? To, I, well, a lot of times for Taco Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what's funny? Taco is, Tuesday. I love. Oh. Boys Town. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been over there because we live in West Hollywood mm -hmm. and we've like gone over there. And one time we had friends who were in town. Mm -hmm. And I remember I was in there with, uh, it was like me, Kelly, and like a few other people. We we're at, I don't remember what place it was, but we we're like in there. It was like a Friday night and I saw Earl Skakel walking his dog that makes outside. Sense. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'll go say what's up to Earl. And I was like, Actually, no, I'm not yeah, going you're to. Good. No. <laughs> He'll, like, no, I'm actually here with my uh, girlfriend oh, and her friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, mm -hmm, Taco Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Here's the thing. I haven't been to that Fiesta Cantina in probably 10 plus years because my wallet got stolen there. Oh. I've just never been back because they did not give a shit when I was like, because I had my ID there and the person next to me took it and I saw them take it and that person was a uh, drag queen and it made it look like I was attacking this drag queen from the sidelines but I was like no the bitch yeah. stole it I saw it I haven't seen this bitch in 10 plus years it's almost like a and they let her go out the fucking back door it's a very funny thought of a drag queen stealing a wallet because it's like a very there's a move to like I'm imagining like a very high leg kick and everyone's like look at the leg kick and then while you're looking up at her leg she grabs your just wallet steals yeah. the smoke bomb disappears <laughs> yeah, like, uh, and I've never been back does one of these and like grabs a wallet yeah off the thing, I was like, livid but does it still smell like a corpse rotting in a porta potty <laughs> um, with a drop of bleach yes but okay. the food I will say the taco is pretty solid I have not had the tacos but I will say Best nachos in town. The food there is good. Okay. High tops, food's good there. I'm gonna, that's what You're I, like that guy at Hooters who's like, I love the wings. Yeah, but like, uh, I'm glad everyone's having fun. 
<laughs> Babe, I got a video somewhere. Oh, the girls have their, their boobs out? I had no <laughs> idea. I just love a good blue cheese ranch combo. There's a uh, like boutique hotel right next to our apartment, and my parents stayed there when they were in town. And we went over to like see that like when they were checking in, and there was a drag show going on in the thing. Upstairs? In the, no, oh, in, in, the, the lobby. in the like lobby, like bar area. And my dad has like obviously never seen anything like this, so he's kind of just like... So I have a video of it. I have to find. He's thinking them. about your coworker being it's, like, "Oh shit, he's gonna take some moves." <laughs> yeah, but yeah. He like he said it was because he's wearing like a Wranglers, a shirt that says like Barstow Community College, yeah. like yeah. just the most out of place dude ever. But he said he went up to stairs to the bathroom and that they were like where everybody was getting ready, and all of them could tell that he was out of place. And he said that he was walking by, and one of them was like had just crazy heels on, like six foot a million, so that he was walking by and like wasn't looking at him. And then last minute, as they were like passing each other. Goes like points down, like how you doing? And he's like, oh, hey, uh, hey, how's it going? And oh, that's he, funny. And then, like just like fucking with them, and he's dad like, scared. Oh, like in this fucking whirl of just like, oh, where am I? Oh. What am I doing? That's great. Well, uh, if drag queens scare your dad, then uh, what about spiders? Spiders. This is last story. We have spiders, spider oh. lovers, which should not be a thing. Spider lovers are scurrying. Uh, uh, spider lovers to Colorado town in search of mating tarantulas and community. <laughs> <laughs> it's just goth people, people being play like, a "We're fucking hobby." Like, yeah. love is in the air on the Colorado plains, the kind that makes your heart beat a little bit faster, quickens your step, and makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up. Or if you're Bruce's dad, <laughs> yeah. what's up? Ah, this sounds like a metal song. Be it's like, tar- there's a town of spiders and they're all <laughs> fucking. It's tarantula. <laughs> <laughs> it's tarantula mating season when male spiders scurry out of their burrows and search for a mate. And hundreds of arachnophiles flock <laughs> to the small farming town of La Junta to watch them emerge in droves. Scientists, spider enthusiasts, and curious Colorado families piled into buses just before dusk last weekend oh. as tarantula. Officials began to roam the dry rolling plains. Some used flashlights and car headlights to spot the arachnids once the sun set. Back in town, festival goers flaunted their tarantula-like traits in a hairy leg contest. Oh, my God. A woman claimed the title this year. <laughs> Good for you, bitch. <laughs> and paraded around in vintage cars with giant spiders on the hoods. The 1990 cult classic film Arachnophobia, which follows a small town, similarly overrun with spiders, screened downtown at the historic Fox Theater. Just now, spider fest. I, I just... hate spiders. Um... So let's see where are we go. I wonder how you win that contest with hair how, leg. Well, how is it judged? Do they have like a they like call, Damn, that's a hair leg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just a guy who like uh, that one's hairier than the last. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> it's not like how do you measure? So, uh, for the residents of La Junta, tarantulas aren't the nightmarish creatures often depicted on the silver screen. They're an important part of the local ecosystem and a draw for people around the U.S. who might have otherwise never visited the town in southeastern Colorado. Word spread quickly um, from the town. This is the third year of the tarantula festival. Among them was this guy Nathan, a tarantula breeder oh. from Santa Monica, California. Get him Be on, the, on the lookout. <laughs> he heard about the mating season and knew it was a spectacle he needed to witness. He sells tarantulas as pets to people around the U.S. Oh, and has God. been fascinated with them since childhood. There's nothing more terrifying to me than spiders. I can handle snakes. I can handle rats. I can handle well, Jojo Siwa. <laughs> but I cannot handle I, ter- like spiders of any kind. I don't like them. Obviously, and I don't like scream. But once the hair starts, once you, there's a certain area where of spider where you move past the normal one into the hairy ones, and yeah. that's where I draw the. Well, line. I saw Texas Chainsaw Massacre over the weekend at the cemetery, uh, yes. and there's a scene in that where they like just cut to a bunch of daddy long legs in the corner, and I was like, yeah. no, no, thank you. But it's also been crazy hot, and this is what I call spider season, because the spiders come out because it's so hot because everything's looking for water and they'll just like create their webs down below in the tree and I'm 6'4 and I'll just be do, 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 and then I just face plant oh, into <laughs> you see a web it says some comic <laughs> <laughs> like what are they trying to say <laughs> 
Mitzi, is that you? Just, Hello, Justin. <laughs> Mitzi, you're back. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Charlotte's yeah. Web, no some s- comic. This is spooky, spooky stuff. No, thank you. I don't like, I, yeah. No. Five and, no. I just, the, I can't do this. No. And these people are sick. They should plan this next year and then do a, uh, like the way they switch a train track to divert it. They should do all of that into a mental institution. Yeah, I, you know, it's, I, I don't know what's worse, an actual freak off party or a spider freak off party. I mean, because, okay, you know. They're watching the spiders. Yes, they're watching the spiders fuck. Freak off. But anytime people gather like this, because I knew a person that was telling me that at little people conventions are like fuck fest. Oh, yeah. And so you know that. A, at the Spider Fest, there's drama. Yeah. And B, there's fucking. Oh, yeah. Brad Williams sits on a throne with a cigar. <laughs> yeah, He's King, like, King Spider? <laughs> Let the festivities commence! <laughs> King Brad. Oh, God. Yeah, so there's... Because you know people are at this thing and they're setting their fucking whatever... App GoPro to point, night vision. Point five miles. Find the spider. Sex tarp. <laughs> oh, just goth people <laughs> and spider Sex. freaks. <laughs> well, Bruce, thank you so much. Of course, for being this was a blast. Here. Did you have fun? I had a great, very good time. Learned a new recipe. You did did we this? Had some good friendship. I had nearly defended Garth Brooks. Yeah, but- I mean, hey, <laughs> we're gonna keep our eyes closed. You know I just why? Because that's how the same. thunder rolls. Yeah. <laughs> um, please tell everyone where they can find you. What you got coming up? Dates? All of that. Um. At Bruce Gray, G R A Y, on pretty much everything. Bruce Gray Comedy. I'm looking in the wrong thing. No. Bruce Gray. I'm literally looking at myself on the screen. It's okay. Bruce Gray Comedy. Com for all information. A bunch of stuff. I don't have anything specifically written down that I could remember right now. But I'm here. I'm there. Bruce Gray Comedy. Com. Thanks. Awesome. And uh, I have some dates coming up uh, this October. I believe I'm at the Improv. I'll put that in the link somewhere. It's uh, the That's Historical show with Jody Miller. We're doing the Salem Witch Trials. That's where you take a year and do comedy around that year. So that's going to be really fun. And then December 19th, this was just announced on Jeff Lewis. Uh, He is doing the Jeff uh, Jeff Lewis Live Chumpmas at the Brea Improv, Ah. uh, December 19th. So get your tickets for that. Uh, It's going to be a whole shenanigans of sort. But uh, as always, thank you again. Thank you for rating, reviewing, subscribing, all those comments. Thank you for loving all of the guests that we have here. And we will see you next time on the Just Saying Podcast. You guys have a great week. Bye. (laughs) 